Hello guys, in this video we will see how we can easily run C or C++ program on Visual Studio Code. So for that you need to install Visual Studio Code as well as MinGW compiler. So both we have installed in the system. We have added the link in the description so that you can install both MinGW and Visual Studio Code on Windows 10. So why we need MinGW? We need MinGW so that we can get the G++ compiler for C++ program and GCC compiler for C program. So let's go to start. Type MinGW. You can see we have installed it. Now type Visual Studio Code. On typing, you can see it is also installed. I'll click on it. On clicking, let's first create a folder. Here, no folder open. Add a folder. Let's say I'll create a folder on desktop. Let's add a name. My programs. I'll double click and I'll add. Now the folder will get added. Now let's add a C file first. Right click, new file. Here I'll type the name amit.c. Now you can see we have successfully we have successfully saved the file amit.c. Now you can see we have installed MinGW also, but it is still recommending an extension for C. So what I'll do, I'll just install it. It is installing C, C++ extension provided by Microsoft. So it will also provide you IntelliSense debugging and other options. You can read the features from here. Now I'll close it. Here, let's write a simple C code. Now let's run it. Here you can see the dot is visible. That means we need to save it. File save. It's fine now. Now guys, on right click run code is visible so so if you want the same to be visible we have installed an extension here code runner this is the extension we installed and the same allowed us to right click and run code option to be visible here so you can do the same to ease your work now right click I'll run code and let's see what will happen here you can see it is running GCC because we already installed MinGW and the extension here and our output is visible my first C program. So we have successfully ran C. Click here. We have our folder on the desktop. Minimize this. You can see my program. Under that we created amit.c after compiling amit.exe is visible for amit.c file. Now minimize this. So guys in this video we saw how we can easily run our first C program on Visual Studio Code. We easily ran it. Here is the output. So guys thank you for watching the video. If you liked it, please subscribe to our channel.